Now, just a word on fertilizer. Fertilizer is something that you may not need if you don't have a really long period inside with your plants. Uh, but for some of you that have to start early enough and, you know, summer comes or spring comes late enough before you can plant out, uh, your plants are going to be inside for a while, and the fertilizer that you started off with in your soil may not be enough to get you to the end of your growing period inside. If that's the case, you'll need to add some fertilizer. Typically, I don't need to add any additional fertilizer beyond what came in the dirt to my plants until they've been growing inside for at least two months. You can kind of tell when you need to start to add fertilizer because if you're watching the plants, the growth's going to slow down, your leaves will get a little yellow and whatnot. Uh, they're they're going to start to look a little off color, and it's going to they're going to be some indicators there that okay, yeah, we need to add a little bit of fertilizer. Um, always be careful adding fertilizer. If you add too little, it's a very simple thing to add more later. If you add too much, assuming you didn't kill your plant, it can be very difficult to get it back out of the system. Um, so always start off with too little and add a little bit more. Whatever fertilizer you use, uh, my general recommendation is read the instructions really carefully and then use half of what they told you to use. Now I tend to use a liquid based fertilizer and all that I do is I put it in the water reservoir uh, and mix it up and that way my plants can uptake it with water and that tends to work for me really well. Uh, you can see pictures here of the fertilizer I use. It's, uh, it's Bonnie fertilizer. Um, I get this from Home Depot, but I'm sure there's a few other places that sell it as well. You don't have to use this particular fertilizer. Just look for something uh, similar to it. You can see the, uh, the picture here of the uh, fertilizer breakdown, the 844. The number you want to pay attention to is the first number, the 8. That's the nitrogen. Nitrogen is what's going to be important to you at this stage of your plant's growth. The other two numbers just aren't near as important, and there's probably already enough in your soil. So it's the first number, the nitrogen, that you need to focus on. Also, don't use any fertilizer that is really high-powered. You don't want anything strong for this at all. Uh, weak fertilizers work fine. Matter of fact, the even the 8 might be a little bit stronger than you want to use, even though that's typically what I have been using. Um, also, you don't want, you know, even if your plants can take it, you really don't want to encourage high nitrogen growth in your plants because while you may not be able to immediately see the effects, that's going to have some negative effects in the long-term health of your plant even after you've planted it out. Uh, plants that have been through a lot of high nitrogen growth, uh, you're going to have additional trouble with aphids if you have trouble with aphids in your area, and you can have trouble with blossom and rot and things like tomatoes and whatnot. Um, that's something I'll get into later in some of my other courses. Uh, but just be aware that high nitrogen growth is a problem, and that's something you want to avoid. You want your plant to grow in proportion, and artificially dumping too much nitrogen on it and encouraging that fast green growth is not a good thing for your plants. It's not going to lead to the strong, healthy plants, nor the growing conditions, nor the fruit that you want. So basically, don't give it more than it needs. Now, this particular fertilizer right here, I just take a cap full of it, put it in the water reservoir, and mix it around. At a minimum, that should hold me for two weeks, but you know sometimes it can hold me for far longer depending upon what the what the situation is with my plants. If you find yourself using it multiple times, be very careful about getting too much built up in your water reservoir. If you ever suspect that you have, um, take all your plants out of the water reservoir, dump it, clean the container well, and put fresh water in, and then put the plants back in, and hopefully you won't have a problem. So just be careful with the fertilizer. You don't want to use too much whatever you do. Uh, when you use too little, typically the, the worst case consequence for it is that you slow your growth down a great deal. Because if you've already got fertilizer in the soil and using a potting soil of that nature, you're probably doing well enough there that you're not going to kill the plant or anything of that nature. You're just going to slow down the growth. So do be careful with the fertilizer.